everybody welcome back if so it's another market update video here at benefit central i'm benjamin and today bitcoin in the s p charts but before i get right into the market please leave a like drop a comment and if you could subscribe i'd greatly appreciate it everybody the market honestly is doing exactly what we um said it was going to do however um it is playing a bit of games and this is why i'm just saying um i did however call this in the telegram chat and as well as i believe in the last video um that if we were to get any kind of bearish momentum that it should be wicks um, and definitely not closes. We did end up getting one close on that red right here. So we have one red. However, um, looking in on today, we were continuing um, bullish actually for an RBI right here. And honestly, I thought that this was going to push further. It still can as of right now it's 10. So I mean, we still have a few hours until this can actually end up passing the 2000 level for the daily, which we did. Um, we did end up wicking past it, but it just wasn't strong enough to hit the other wicks. And we came shooting right back down to 1900 um right around 1920 right now but we did dip below our 1900 level around 1873 um honestly that could have been a good buy-in um right below into 1900 and then now obviously you're in profits as of right now going into profits um at around 1920. however looking at the daily the rbi did fail so i mean i am waiting to see if that will eventually continue or is if that is just a pivot point and then we end up with another daily possible week um possible daily wicking down and then um continuing that pivot up like we've seen before instead of an rbi it's just going to be two candles it'll be a bigger rbi formation most likely in the um weekly however looking in on everything that it is right now i honestly am not too excited about any kind of long or short positions as of right now honestly i, I will just end up scalping just for obviously profits throughout the day but um as of right now i'm not really seeing anything too guaranteed uh, just the way that we reacted um we do need a bit of consolidation on the weekly or on the weekly yeah for the weekly we really realistically do not need any consolidation we're basically borderline as of right now we're, we're perfect of of we're borderline of perfect honestly we're right in the middle um we're looking on the monthly we're the exact same we're trying to get that bull 180 in um today is the 15th so i mean we do have um still half a month left to do what we need to do for the monthly as well as for the weekly um however on the daily we are overbought and i am seeing that we are going to eventually price down unless this rbi uh, uh, rbi kicks in pretty strong here with some volume towards you know towards the middle of the day almost we will get this close for the daily between five to six hopefully nothing too early um like we did with our weekly that opened up pretty early and it was honestly a little confusing and shocking um but it did exactly what we needed it to and it, it did hit our prices of 2k um, but as of right now it does seem like we are in a bit of a halt a bit of a uh, consolidation and that's totally normal that's completely normal um it is what we expected just off of our rally but looking into the weekly just real quick just to show you guys um we are you know getting rejected off our indicator like i anticipated um however it just realistically depends on how we close on this indicator if we close above it or if we close below um, and if we do end up closing below, if we get a wick and just stays kind of halfway through this candle, we should end up continuing bullish. However, if we get a close below 1900 and then it, you know, continues past at least where last week closed, then honestly that could be a bear 180 and that could be sending us down back at least to our um, indicators uh, around our 200 moving average. So that would be interesting. Just like I said, we are still in this descending channel. So honestly, we could start to reject now or we could get maybe this candle close and then the next one and then break out. It, the, there is a lot of stuff forming right now. But as of right now, like I said, we're still just not quite out of this um, bear market um, or recession. You would like to call it just because of the, the feds. But um, or we're not in a recession, whichever one they prefer. But um, honestly, we do we do just need a few at least one more week or at least a few more days until we can get this to figure itself out. We did just get that new weekly open. Today is Monday, so we do just realistically need to see how this turns out. Um, we, I believe we opened this yesterday um, between five to six. I didn't really have too much time to catch that one. But um, if anything, if I, if I didn't, my live did. So if you guys would like to go check out the lives or any kind of media just to keep updated with me. Um, I do not mind at all. I don't mind writing you guys. I don't mind explaining anything. Um, honestly, me teaching you guys helps me in a way. Uh, the, the better I can explain it, the better I understand myself. So, um, 
yeah please drop a like drop a comment and uh, subscribe if you guys can just so you guys can stay updated and um benefited but anyways um everybody i'm going to be uh, diving right into the bitcoin charts just real quick i'm um, just showing you guys what is going on we have that rbi like i said formation for the weekly still however our new weekly just started formed and tapped 25k so honestly we can come all the way back down like i said to our 200 moving average um just test some support we realistically do not need it for the weekly for bitcoin so it is interesting that we're even attempting to do this however i believe on our daily we do need it so i can expect us to at least consolidate a bit more if anything close today in consolidation like this and then the, our next daily between five to six we should see a bit of um if we end up pulling back as soon as we open the daily then that that could uh, show us honestly that we're going to end up bullish usually whichever way the candle does turn as soon as it opens it's usually just trying to make a wick make the data for the table some people get shook out um that don't understand the way candles in the in the stock works and the market works um, but honestly, we are still consolidating around this 25,000 level. Um, I don't see us breaking out of it anytime soon as of yet, just because of the, vol the lack of volume and how overbought we are, just because of how strong we made it all the way to 25K. If you pay attention, our pumps are getting a bit weaker um, as we tapped 25K for Bitcoin. So it is just a bit interesting. However, looking in on the monthly, just to show you guys, we are still okay. However, that GBI formation is kicking in stronger um, the more we reject off of our resistance. So that is definitely something to worry about. Like I said, we still are in this bear market or recession. And um, I definitely would just be careful with that. This can dip and rip like it's setting up to be, but I just don't like how strong this bearish candle was. That's a lot of bullish momentum that we have to kick into the market to t even attempt to get up there. Um, but honestly, I still believe that we are trying to come out bullish. We just need to continue um, our momentum as well as hopefully this week we are getting some more great data. I believe it's Wednesday um, or even maybe today. Today is the 15th. I believe it was the 15th of Wednesday. Um, I will get back to you guys on that um, with my Twitter or any other piece of media that I have. Um, but other than that, realistically, we are expecting a, a bit of good data release. So, I mean, honestly, that should pump everything, especially the NASDAQ. Um, from where we're at so I will keep you guys updated on that however looking in on the XRP just to show you guys what's going on that GBI formation is kicking in very hard right now as you can tell um, without even a wick up so very interesting we just got a huge price a huge shoot a huge pump a huge rally a uh, relief rally and then now it seems as if we are anticipating a, a bearish break however like I said you can't get your hopes up too much and you can't fill up on bliss just because we are still in this descending channel and um, you, you realistically just don't know where you're going to go from here just because we are not broken out yet we're just simply not broken out so as soon as we get out of this channel which is bullish um, it's a dip and rip we just really realistically need to wait until we fill out the rest of this channel everybody's getting very excited because we're finally um, possibly seeing a bottom but this same bottom can end up turning into a GBI and actually uh, pushing us at least just one leg lower so just please be careful on that you do not want to end up longing that and then be a part of that um week or monthly gbi this is it's just not something you would like um but other than that realistically looking in on the weekly for it it is it didn't even have enough strength to go up and hit us 200 again um but honestly looking at it it is looking like we are just coming in contact with our descending channel um which is a bit interesting but we didn't even like to touch it so it is just showing more bearish momentum than anything but like i said the weekly just just started um today and or yesterday and uh, realistically it started today for the real data in the stock market open however looking in on the daily for xrp you can tell that we are just getting a bit of rejection and not realistically consolidating or even pushing sideways more bullish it's really just a complete consolidation if anything it's downward consolidation um like sideways to the downside but um as of right now realistically we are just consolidating we have to wait for another break see how this week and the next few days turn out for us um but other than that if you guys would like to stay updated with me of course i will be responding i'm live 24 7 um, but before i go i'm just going to show you guys the spx 500 just to show you guys what i'm talking about looking in on the daily we are overbought extremely overbought we're past 70 um and we broke past our 41.88 level so honestly we realistically just need to 
come back down a little bit, test our 4188 level, and uh, possibly come in contact with our uh, 20 moving average again and our indicators off our bullish cross. And then resetting the RSI, we could see uh, a continuation. But as well, we are um, as well in this descending channel. The reason I say that just because um, a lot of people like to disagree with this one. Well, actually, we might be out of this, but this is why I draw it this way. And a lot of people don't understand, but the reason I'm doing so is because of this. So um, a lot of people are disagreeing with this, and it's totally fine. Um, but as of right now, I still see this descending channel that the S&P could still technically be in, um, as well as the rest of the market. So realis realistically, and especially where that 200 um, moving average is, like, come on. But um, realistically, we do have to just see us break these highs. Um, I'm really realistically for us to get out of this bull market. Realistically, I am looking at a price of either 4,400 or at least 4,486. Um, almost 45 so either 4400 or 4500 for the S&P 500 so that we can end up breaking bullish completely out of this ball and then making that a neckline and then pushing out of it otherwise if we get rejected right here off of our overbought as well um, this will continue our descending channel and recession um, that we are supposedly not in but before I go just so I can show you since I did bring it up the Nasdaq uh, is pumping as of right now uh, we did open at 930 but other than that, realistically, we are going to continue to our 200 moving average and then most likely reject just because we are overbought and the way the market is moving with everything else. We are still in this descending channel as well. Um, so realistically, we just need to see how this week breaks in the, few, in the next few couple days close. Um, but other than that, everybody, that was just another quick market update video for you guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ciao.